<laughs> I don't even know if I'm going live anymore. So uh, this is Dr. Trevor from Peak Potential Physiotherapy and Wellness here in Carterville, Tennessee. And I have not been on here for quite some time. So um, please uh, let me know if you can see and hear me all right. Um, I'm just checking to see if I'm actually on. Uh, and I will explain what my title actually means uh, here in just a second. So let me check to see if I am here or not. It looks like I am. So give me a second here. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore with these with this new stuff. Um, here we go. So again, Dr. Trevor from Peak Potential Physiotherapy and Wellness. I am coming to you live to one, welcome you, <laughs> happy new year, and um, I'm sure I'm going to get a few comments about um, what's going on here, but that's what happens when you get quarantined over New Year's and uh, need to be away from everyone, you just don't don't shave. So uh, most people have never seen me with facial hair, and, and here you go. So <clears throat> welcome 2022. Have y'all ever had, not necessarily an epiphany, but something that just is said differently that really makes you think and be like, I knew that, but now it really makes me um, think about it differently, okay? So did you know that your butt's connected to your knee? Yes, we talk about here all the time what we call regional inter interdependence, meaning that every part of the body is connected to the other part in this great kinetic chain that God has given us. But I want you to know that your glute is actually attached to your knee. And so I'm going to give you a couple things about talking to you about what your glute max is, what it is, where it can go, and what I've been teaching and what we've been teaching our clients here lately because of just the way this has been said, it makes a whole lot of sense, okay? So your glute is attached to your knee. So this happens a lot with, uh, with runners, with other, with other people. They come in all the time and they say they have pain on the outside of their knee or they say that they have IT band syndrome or IT band friction syndrome. And what that can be, it could be the kneecap actually move, not moving in the little groove. It could be, you know, tension in your IT band itself. Is it tight? Do I need to roll it? Do I need to needle it? Do I need to use some instruments on it to, to loosen it up? Who, who knows? But the, the biggest thing is figuring out why it is going on or what's going on, the root cause, not necessarily let's just move the kneecap around or, or roll the IT band. So this is just one of the reasons that it could be going on and it's your gluteus maximus, one of the biggest muscles in your body, one of the big stabilizers of your back and your hip. A lot of people and even physical therapists, we think that that, that glute muscle, all it does is it kicks your leg backwards or extends. That's why we do bridges and leg raises and those sorts of things. But what it really does a lot of is that it controls rotation of your thigh bone or your femur. And that definitely happens a lot with runners. And every time you hit, it's two to three times your body weight going through your skeletal system. So you need a big, strong stabilizer to actually control that knee motion. And then that has a downstream effect. It can cause your knee to drop in and your foot to, you know, flatten or pronate. There's a lot of different things that it could be going on there. And, but the biggest thing is, is that if you have lateral knee pain or pain on the outside of your knee, try loosening up your glute. And we, people all the time say, well, I roll my IT band all the time and all that. Well, what an IT band is, is basically a piece of fascia, which the type of tissue that is, it's like a piece of leather. It doesn't stretch like a muscle does. So you can roll that sucker all you want, but if it's tight and the things that make it up are tight is you need to work on the underlying cause. So that's where the glute max comes in, or why your butt's connected to your knee, okay? Sorry, all the noise here. But I wanna show you all this. So your glute max is this big muscle here. It attaches from your tailbone all the way around to your hip. And people think it attaches to your, to your thigh, to your femur. But 
it actually has been shown that 80% of this, so you go back to, um, I think it's called you know, Pareto's principle or something, that whole 80-20 uh, mentality, 80% of it is actually attached into your IT band. So that's that big white line that goes all the way down to your knee. You see it kind of over here too, from your hip all the way down to your knee is your IT band. So if 80% of this big muscle is attached to soft tissue or to fascia, which is your IT band, think about this glute muscle is attached directly to your knee. So through that tissue, it's attached directly to your knee. So if there's any issue going on in your glute, we always talk about your piriformis and where your sciatic nerve is and all of that, but what about this big old muscle sitting here that might need to be worked on? Right? So 20% of it attaches into the femur, so it has some bony connection, so it's controlling and, and supporting your skeletal system. But think about 80% of it's actually attached to your IT band. And then that is going to be causing some havoc on your knee if there's trigger points or if it's weak on one side. A lot of people with lower back pain have glute weakness, even though you're like, well, I'm walking around. Same thing with core. You think you got strong core, yet your core is in dysfunction and just not coordinated enough and you're having chronic lower back issues. But <clears throat> I digress, okay? Y'all can leave me notes in the comments of what else you might want me to talk about coming up. I, um, so I'm, I'm making my resolution to be on here more consistently and to serve y'all and to, to bring things like this to you. So please put in the comments if you have anything that you want me to address or answer or just, you know, riff about or anything like that. But what I want to do is just teach you how you can use a lacrosse ball, how to loosen up that uh, glute muscle that is attached directly to your knees, the gluteus maximus. Uh, which attaches directly to your knee. So <clears throat> with all that said is test out working on your glute. So if you're having outside knee pain or back pain or even any pain or referred pain that goes all the way down your leg, even to your foot, so more sciatic-like issues. I had someone coming in who had sciatic issues and we actually released her glute, did some needling on it, and that was a lot better. So a lot of times um, it's, it's how something is said. It's not, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, right? So I, ha I tell my kids that all the time and then you know, it hits me in the face like a, like a ton, of, ton of bricks. But when someone pointed out that 80% of that muscle attaches directly into the IT band, which then attaches directly to your knee, vis-a-vis -vis you can talk about your glute max attaching directly to your knee. It was just kind of like, of course, I learned that in anatomy, but why haven't I been telling people or teaching people that uh, going forward and that it controls that motion of the femur coming down when you're running. And that's why it's such a huge component of uh, needing to be trained correctly or eccentrically for our runners out there, okay? So um, let me see if I can show you this. There's a couple different ways you can do this. So one is just using uh, the lacrosse ball against the wall. Let's see if you can see me here. <clears throat> so again, it attaches right to the edge of the tailbone. You just put the ball right there. You can work all the way around it um, against the wall. So let's see if this will work. There we go. So you put it right along the edge of the tailbone. It could be near the piriformis and the sciatic nerve and all that. And if you get any tingling, you stop. But you're going to put it right there. You're just going to work all the way up around it on the wall and loosen it up. You find a really tight spot or a spot that even kind of makes you squint and hurt, you're on a good spot. Stay there and breathe, okay? So you stay there and breathe, it should res should relax and respond, okay? So <clears throat> that's one way you can loosen it up. Then you can follow that up with stretching. We've, we've gone over piriformis stretching and those sorts of things. But let me just show you here again. You can kind of just get in there to get to the piriformis or coming up and across. That'll get your glute max. But what else you can do is, again, you put it right there along where your buttock muscle is, and you can just lie down on it. Oh, there's a good one. Lie down on it. You can 
cross the leg over and roll on it. You could use a foam roller. The lacrosse ball is a bit more pinpointed, so you can loosen it up that way. But that's a great way to loosen up the glute muscle <coughs> and get it calmed down so that it doesn't hurt your knee or uh, cause your IT band issues. But 80% of that is your glute max attached to it, and the other part is your TFL, which we've talked about that. That can create your side attica. Uh, which is was coined by a, a friend of mine. So shout out to to um, Justin if he's if he ever watches this. So hope this was useful to you. Let me know if it, if you're trying this or if it didn't work. Like I said, this is one uh, component of that. glute max muscle as well as the muscle underneath it called your piriformis but um, it's just again not what you say how you say it that 80% of that glute muscle or your glute max is directly connected to your knee so thought that might be useful for a lot of y'all out there please let me know if this content was uh, was was useful to you and let me know what else I can do to help y'all along the way Again, it's Dr. Trevor from Potential Physiotherapy and Wellness, and we will see y'all soon. Thanks.